So it was in 2009 when he was 10 that this torment began. What was the first incident that you became aware of? It was, it was small things. I mean, I know a lot has been made in the papers about him playing, uh, not being able to play a video game. That was, that was one small incident. It was just little incidences of unkindness, little comments about, you know, why didn't he have this or why didn't he have that, not being invited to a party. It was more exclusion mm. than anything else. And we had a few issues when he was in the last year of junior school and, you know, I thought when he went to senior school, it would settle and, you know, new school year, new people. And it just started to escalate and started to become more and more. But when you look at those pictures of him, it, you, you can't see what it was that would have triggered that. He's such yeah. a good looking yeah, guy. Yeah, he's good looking yeah. boy. He's gorgeous. He never saw that. He never saw that. He thought, that's why he, he, he only ever smiled for family pictures on his Facebook page and things, he would never smile cos he, he said, I'm really ugly when I smile. He never saw it. He could never... He'd be always... So just... he would... Do you think he was vulnerable to it, sensitive to it from the start? Possibly because he reacted to it rather than... He, 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 couldn't, he couldn't dismiss it. He would come home and he would be sad. Um, he... At school, they all said, well, you know, I can't see a problem because he's always got a smile on his face because he held that smile and he performed all day at school. And it was only when he came home that he would cry. Mm. Yeah. But, you know, a lot of pe people, I think, didn't realise the impact of what was happening to him because he just kept that fixed grin and he performed and he was the class clown. And he got into trouble because he was the class clown. Yeah. And that's but... the problem, isn't it? And that's what's so frightening about this, is that there, there's no big incident where we go, well, this, this is terrible. No. Oh, you can go report this to the teacher. No. It's the small, little, yeah. tiny things over a time. It's like a road by a thousand thing. cuts, Oh, isn't it? absolutely. Absolutely. And it just became progressively worse. So how did it get progressively worse? He, his self-confidence, his self-esteem just was eroded on a daily basis. Um, he was he was called a name by somebody every day, probably not the same person. Probably quite often the first time that person might have said anything, but it might have been the fifth time he'd heard it that day. Mm. He was alone at lunch times. He was alone at weekends. His social life with his it was you know our family. And you know as you become a teenager, you know you like your family, but you don't want to spend all the time mm. with them. And he just he was excluded. And if he made a friend outside, it, it, it wouldn't be long before they'd get a text message or a Facebook message saying, what do you want to be friends with him for? He's the most hated boy in the school. And so it, it seemed almost that it became, for no good reason, fashionable to dislike him. It was just who he was. It was... I, I've, I've always said this, you know, you know, it was almost like an introduction of this is so-and-so, she plays netball, this is Freya, uh, this is Felix, everyone hates Felix. Oh, and it was so just awful. who he was. And, of course, with the social media and, and that coming into his life, it wasn't even like he could just leave it at the school gate. This no. was now in his home, in his yeah. bedroom, yeah. in his pocket. Yeah. Well, we, we tried to stop it being so much in the home, but that just excludes and isolates even more because his generation, not so much with older children, but I think his, his year group particularly, that's the only way they communicate. Mm. They're not very good at communicating face to face. It's all done over group chats and so on and so forth. And if we took it away, I mean, we didn't let him take his phone to his bedroom or the, no computers or iPads or anything in the bedroom. It was all kept centrally downstairs. But if you're looking for negativity, that's all you're going to find. Mm. And he would sneak down and he'd look and he'd find things about himself. Did he talk to you about it? Yeah. He talked a lot. We were actually very, very close. Um, and it got to the stage when he was about 14 that actually it was a really good girlfriend of mine who's a psychotherapist who said, um, get him some help. And I, I helped. He, he, would, he needed it and he admitted, he said, you know, I can't do this. So he saw a psychotherapist for about a year and she did give him some coping strategies, but if you're not solving the problem, you're just throwing them back into it. And he wouldn't, he wouldn't change schools because he said, it's social media, it'll go with me wherever. And why would you put me somewhere where I don't even know anyone or how anything functions? Mm. I'd be even more scared. But then in about the last two years, he didn't share as much. And I, I wasn't as aware that 
it was still going on to the same extent. Well, I don't think it was to the same extent, but it was still going but on. But in and his the head, had it had done. already started to burn. Oh, he, t he was damaged by then. He th I, I knew when he went to his new school, he made friends. They were lovely people. They were really nice people, nice teachers. But he, he couldn't... He didn't know how to have a friendship because he'd never had one. Mm. And if somebody didn't speak to him or turn their back to him, it'd be, oh, it's starting again, it's starting again. And um, he would he'd be moody at times, but he'd, he'd normalised it for himself. And I don't want to dwell too much on, on the day when he took his own life. And that, that morning, and he went... He was meant to be getting the, the bus to school, um, and, he, and he didn't go. Well, and he we... was meant to be catching the train. And um, he didn't get to school, and the school called me and said that somebody had seen him getting off a bus in a local village. And I knew that he knew some people in that village, so I thought that... Cos he, he'd, he'd been upset, and I thought maybe he'd gone to speak to this friend he had there. So we went to look for him.